Today we're going to look at Elson's test, which is an examination to determine the integrity of the central slip. Starting with the anatomy, we have the common extensor tendon, which bifurcates into the central slip and the lateral bands. The lateral bands then rejoin to form the terminal tendon. The standard test position involves placing the hand over the edge of a table with the PIP joint blocked, then applying pressure over the middle phalanx and asking the patient to attempt extension against resistance. If the central slip is intact, the patient will be able to extend the PIP joint against resistance without hyperextension at the DIP joint. Weakness or inability to extend at the PIP joint, especially without DIP joint hyperextension can indicate a central slip rupture. In the modified Elson's test, the injured finger is flexed at about 90 degrees in the PIP joint and pushed against the dorsal side of the mid phalanx of the same finger on the contralateral hand. In a non-injured finger, the DIP joints will remain symmetrically flexed. In the injured finger, the DIP joint will extend further than the DIP joint of the uninvolved hand. This is due to the migration proximally of the lateral bands acting on the distal phalanx.